Hello my dears, Susie Mack here from Susie Mack Creations. I'm here um, to share my uh, finished um, lace caddy that I took away with me last weekend on my craft retreat. The caddy came from Fenley Designs and I first saw this particular um, design on Facebook um, on a lovely lady's um, page called Jean Wag, um, who does the most amazing um, creations with her lace and her jewels and oh she's just a fabulous fabulous crafter so after seeing Jean's um, creation I decided that I wanted one too mine's is nowhere near as um, intricate and as delicious as Jean's but I have thoroughly enjoyed creating it. Before I show you the actual completed caddy, let me just say that I've used, um, show you the papers, etc., that I've used to decorate um, the caddy. And um, these are from scrapandcraft.co.uk. Um, and this Amelia is a lovely, lovely lady who owns this particular online store. And I had the pleasure of being one of her designers for the past year. Um, she's a very generous um, lady and sends us some beautiful design team packages, which I try to use to my utmost. Um, my favourite papers, I think, of, of all the collections that she carries are Lemoncraft, and particularly at the House of Roses. They are just so shabby, so chic, just stunning. And these are the papers that I've used to decorate the caddy. Um, <clears throat> and I'll show you which ones I've actually used. The front cover, if you turn over, um, you can use um, the inside of the front cover for scrapbooking or whatever. But the papers I've actually used are these particular ones um, and you can see if I hold these up just how delicious they are um, there's roses and flowers and the clock um, and the same on the other side and if you turn it over you have the wood effect so I've used both I used half and half um, of this sheet well a quarter and a quarter really I also used um, this particular sheet and I used the, just the bottom corner um, on one of my sides um, and again you have the polka dots and the shabbiness the other side and for the main body the carry handle I have used um, these beautiful uh, postcard style papers again stunning and for the butterflies and the little um, label which I'll show you in a second I've used the um, labels one um, cut apart sheet and I used particularly uh, this one here and I cut out some of the small uh, butterflies um, done my caddy here we go, I'll show you what the caddy looks like now. Um, if I take out these adorable um, spools, they're not really spools because they're, they're, they're lace holders. Um, I painted them all um, with some gesso for um, um, adding the lace onto them, obviously. And I have quite a few of them as you can see. I'll take them out so that I can show you exactly what I've done with the inside. I gessoed the inside. Um, I gessoed it all um, and then I used the postcard paper um, to decorate side um, handle. I have also 
used some Spellbinders, I'll have to tamp this way I think, some Spellbinders dies, um, and the same paper made the flowers, um, Spellbinders uh, stamps and dies to use to make up the, the leaves. These are the little butterflies that I've cut out and added them on. And these particular um, moulds are from um, some moulds that I have and I've used some air dry clay um, and just added them to the side. <coughs> At the side I've used the wood effect paper and I've also used some Prima moulds. Um, dry clay, the same on the other side, um, again, um, air dry clay with the Prima moulds. The front um, has the, the label that I've cut out and a couple of the tiny butterflies. Um, I've added a couple of perils. And the flowers again, these are absolutely stunning and again it's the Spellbinders Rose Dye that I've used um, and glittered all the edges, um, added a, a couple of little petals on into the centre. Um, the back, which I call the back, I've kept very plain um, because the paper is just so pretty. I haven't put feet on it um, as yet, I don't know if I want to put feet on it or not. Um, we'll see. Um, as I said, these uh, lovely spools hold at least um, a metre of fabric and I've managed to get, uh, let's have a look, one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'll pop another one in there. Ten on that side, turn it round and we'll see, hopefully these all go back in. One, two, three, five, six, seven, what's the big one? Eight, nine, and I can manage to get ten in there. Which means that I can now look at my caddy on my desk and use my laces um, a bit more because quite honestly I, where I keep them at the moment although it's very pretty and, and it's lovely um, I've got to drag the it's a suitcase and I've got to drag it out look through it in fact let me show you my suitcase here we go I have a vintage suitcase which, if I open up, you can see I have all my, I have some spare spools. This is how they come um, before you paint them. Um, so I've got some spares. These are some of my laces, um, which again, I have to raffle through them um, to find out which ones I want to use. Now I've taken the ones out that I truly love um, and I'll be able to use them much more often and as I've used them I can replace them. So my little suitcase can go back down and my little caddy is going to sit pride of place in my craft room so that I can use these beautiful laces more often. I will put um, a link to Family Designs and to Jean, um, Jean's YouTube um, Sorry about that my dears, um, I had a little visitor come in there um, so I had to press pause. As I said, I'll put a link down to Family Designs and to um, scrappingcraft.co.uk and also to Jean's YouTube um, channel. Anyway, that's me for now. Um, thank you very much for popping in to visit. I hope you enjoyed my little um, 
Paddy. I know I will. Bye for now.